This is Twit. Well, we told you on May 19th that Google intended to buy Twitch, a popular service for live streaming video games. Now Venture Beats Dean Takahashi is reporting that the deal has been done and the price is a billion dollars. Google's YouTube will use Twitch to dominate the market of gamers who broadcast gameplay and also audience who like to watch video gaming as a spectator sport. Dean Takahashi is with us now. He's the lead writer for GamesBeat at VentureBeat. Welcome, Dean Takahashi. Hello, Mike. Now, a billion dollars, that seems like a really high price. What do you think YouTube will do with Twitch exactly? Well, they are uh, definitely using it to sort of protect their user base. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of gamers go to YouTube, they post their videos, uh, you know, they, they make funny videos, whatever it is. And YouTube has been the go-to place for this uh, sort of uh, pre-created videos that you upload to, to the site. Uh, but Twitch has, you know, come on the scene in the last uh, uh, three years uh, as a streaming uh, site. Uh, you, you can uh, stream your gameplay live and uh, you can watch, uh, use Twitch to be a spectator, watch uh, uh, competitive sports, uh, you know, uh, game tournaments. Um, you can watch people uh, play and comment on their own gameplay uh, in, a, in a live fashion. So live streaming, uh, as in a lot of other uh, parts of the internet, is, is really taking off. Uh, in gaming, and YouTube and Google want to be a part of this, and that's that's why they're doing this deal. Right. So, you know, Dean, I I have a lot of cynicism about this deal. I I, I think it's uh, too much. I don't think. I mean, we go back to 2006 when YouTube was acquired by Google for 1.65 billion. Now we're saying that that Twitch uh, is worth one billion. That says something, I think, about valuations today. But I think it also <laughs> says something about YouTube. And the fact that, you know, we've heard reports on several occasions over the last several months that YouTube is having some trouble generating the kind of revenue it wants. It just lost its music head. There's no idea now when its music streaming service is going to launch uh, in full swing and, and actually be something that people want. Um, is this Google's attempt, because it has so much money and it's not worried about spending money, to just try to find something it can use to integrate into YouTube and make some money off of it? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, you know, the, this company wouldn't exist if uh, YouTube wasn't really asleep at the switch uh, and didn't really sort of catch on to uh, the phenomenon uh, that uh, that uh, Twitch uh, picked up on. You know, the competitive rise of competitive sports, uh, the fun of uh, spectating, uh, watching somebody else play a game. Um, you know, nobody thought these things were going to be real. Um, but uh, Twitch had this vision uh, three years ago. Um, you, you talk about their um, evaluation. You know, it's it's hard to say exactly how much money they're making. Uh, but uh, they did. Uh, you know, back in May when the deal uh, first was reported, they had 45 million monthly active users. Uh, now they say they have 50 million. So so the rate of growth of Twitch. Uh, is very impressive, and and definitely, if uh, you know Google had been sort of paying attention, uh, all of that growth would have been there. Now, of course, uh, uh, YouTube has a new CEO who's uh, Susan Wojcicki. She's been with the company for many, many years, mostly in the advertising uh, realm. And um, you know, one of the things that Twitch has been doing, they they've been really sort of innovative in what they've been uh, diversifying themselves into. But they they just they have deals now to distribute shows from GameSpot, Joystick, Destructoid. Assume, presumably those are like uh, video podcast type things. Is this a uh, part of that, uh, Dean, that uh, YouTube wants to get more? You know, this is also a kind of a uh, an acquisition of some programming, if you will, sort of television-like programming? Yeah, they're also like live streaming our uh, GameSpeed uh, 2014 conference too. Nice. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, uh, people, uh, say are watching, uh, fewer shows, uh, watching fewer shows on TV, uh, turning more to the internet and, uh, the more you can get your hands on live programming, the better. You know, YouTube's also had this controversy of, uh, of, uh, paying, uh, bloggers, uh, to, uh, say nice things about, uh, games and products. And, uh, and that has hurt them, uh, in, in some recent days, uh, the fallout from that is sort of yet to be seen, but it's another thing that hurts Google and YouTube in games. Um, Twitch doesn't have, uh, this kind of stain on it. Interesting. Go ahead, Don. I think you have a question. 
Yeah, no, Dean, I, I just look at this again, and, you know, 50 million users. Um, it's sort of a niche, I think, with gaming still. I think gaming has gone mainstream, but uh, 50 million users doesn't really blow my socks off in this world where YouTube has a billion users and uh, Facebook more than a billion and, and things like that. I guess at the end of the day, my question is for YouTube, how successful do you think YouTube is going to be at integrating Twitch, making Twitch grow, and making Twitch generate the kind of revenue it needs to, in order to, to return at least some invest, uh, return on this investment? I think um, you know, when you look at all of this, this whole deal, and you say, gee, that's a lot of money for a service that's not that big. In, in the grand scheme of things, how is YouTube going to make this right with investors that are going to ask, why are we spending a billion dollars on something that we may never see that money back on? Mm, well, you know, I, I don't have the, the spreadsheet for uh, Twitch's results in uh, front of me, uh, but I would guess that, uh, you know, the, the, the revenues that they get from advertising are pretty good. Uh, you know, they also have an economy built into Twitch, too, where, you know, they have 1.1 million broadcasters and those people get can get paid. Uh, for having a large audience, you know, they they make a share of the revenue from the ads, so they, they there's a sort of a built-in um, catalyst uh, for for growth and um, uh, a a a better sort of financial performance uh, inside inside Twitch. I I think um, you know anybody who's paying a lot of money for um, an acquisition these days. I mean, you could you could argue argue that Twitch had a billion dollars. Could be a bargain compared to uh, two billion dollars that Facebook paid for Oculus uh, VR, which uh, has no customers. It has it has you know uh, zero people buying products from it, except dev kits, right? Uh, so, so the the valuations are, are something that are very relative. Uh, Google has this kind of cash; uh, you can afford it. Um, uh, definitely, keeping a company like Twitch out of the hands of competitors, who could also take it and grow it and do a lot of damage to um, YouTube. Uh, you know, it seems like a a, a strategic move. Um, you know, whether it makes financial sense, I, I just don't have uh, uh, enough, you know, detailed numbers in front of me to tell me that. And by competitors, I think the main competitor would be Microsoft, who is rumored to be in the running to buy this company. And apparently, as far as we can tell, they were probably outbid by Google. Dean Takahashi is at VentureBeat.com, and you can follow him on Twitter at Dean Talk. That's D-E-A-N-T-A-K. Thank you so much for joining us, and congratulations Thanks, on your exclusive. Thank you. All right.